we have all of our oreganos and thymes and everything, but we have them in all these different pots. Well, when we discovered what he had made, we thought, boy, this would work. Well, we ended up buying five of them, and we bought the one that it sets on this little circular thing, and it, you can just move it around if you want. And I'm telling you, it was the, one of the best investments I've ever, ever made. We love it, and you should get it because it's a one-size-fits-all. It really, whether you use it for flowers or if you use it for your garden, for tomatoes or anything, it's wonderful. Buy it. You'll love it. When I went to design these and put it together the first time, we spent a lot of time researching them and uh, I worked with a nursery grower out there to try to think through everything, how to position and, and our side cups, the center watering tube, the size. You get much bigger, they get harder to get around. If you get smaller, you really can't grow that much stuff in them. They're well made, they're made in Kansas and they'll, they'll hold up for many, many years. This is low density polyethylene. That simply means they're, it's tough, rugged stuff. You can leave it out in the winter, it won't freeze or crack. So it's very, dur very durable. This stuff is pretty much indestructible. They're only eight pounds. Yeah, there's drain holes in the bottom sides. The secret to is the size of this. Um, people continually come up to me at shows and say, well, I've tried growing things, herbs and various things in little pots. And, well, the, the answer to that is they just get fried. It gets very hot in our summer. The roots get so hot and That's when you're in a small container like that. So the key is how big this is and the center watering tube. Part of our design is a center watering tube that has holes drilled in it. So now, that just pressure fits, there's a tapered cone molded in the bottom of our planter. That just pressure fits down the middle. You want to fill it with a lightweight potting mix. So anything, when you do container garden, you just want it to be a lightweight mix. Then you have 16 side cups that you can plant in. Anything from strawberries to herbs to uh, lettuce, greens, spinach, kale. And if you want to do tomatoes and peppers, those are great out of the top of it. It holds up to 22 plants. Holds, holds about 20 gallon or about 2.8 cubic feet of, of uh, growing media. So there's, that's enough. We designed them to be big enough for the roots to get deep down in there. That's, that's the key for things surviving. They've got to have enough soil and growing media to get deep down in the middle. And they do because they'll go around the center watering tube where the water's coming out. That's where the cool part of the, of the soil is. Water the top and the sides a little bit, but always make sure you finish by filling this tube a time or two. Now you know you're saturating deep down into the middle of the soil where your roots really want to get to. It doesn't hurt if it's real hot and dry to go ahead and with a spray on a you know, light spray nozzle on your hose or something to hit the sides and the top, but always finish by filling this tube a time or two. Now you're, you're saturating deep. It, it all depends on conditions. If it's hot and dry and depending on what all you've got growing. But middle of summer, if it's hot and dry, yeah, I'd be probably watering it a little bit every day. But your, your plants will tell you. If, they're, uh, if it's been raining, it's cooler, you probably don't have to do much to it. You can do strawberries, herbs, that one has mostly strawberry plants and some parsley and oregano and Swiss chard. And this one's got succulents, and various flowers, a little Swiss chard. You know, I donated one to Missouri Botanical Garden and he planted it up in all succulents and it just was awesome. If you'd like to do spinach, kale, lettuce mix, look at this one. Loaded with kale and, and lettuce mix. You can start from seed, you can start with starter plants. These things, little pellets, you just put them in a tray, add water, and they'll soak up moisture then put a little bit down in these little pots and then put some seed in and then cover it. Yeah, you just put that down in there, put a few seeds, put, put some more of that in there, pack it down, keep it moist and warm for a few days and they'll, they'll germinate and start growing and then just take the whole thing out and transplant it right into the side of the barrel. No, keep growing. You don't have to take it out of this. This is biodegradable. It's a piece. You guys ready to get one? Appreciate it. Have fun. You bet. Thank you. Have fun planting it up.